right, Mark, we have six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. In today's video, we are ranking the drippiest clones in Star Wars part three. Man, already back at it. The third part, yeah. I mean, there's just too many drippy clones in this damn series. I mean, and we it's, it feels like we barely scratched the surface. Yeah. Okay. Well, getting into our first one here, we have... This is actually an unnamed clone. Okay. But the nickname that people have been saying is Minty. Okay, just because it. just because he's a mint. Color. It's like a light. Yeah, I kind of like that actually. That's a good little but nickname. But this pilot uh, is seen on uh, Siege Mandalore. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like it. It's pretty drippy. I like it, dude. The, <laughs> the, the, that green color is actually like fire. The green. This pilot helmet is hard. I do like that. You got the tubes. Tough. The full mint green chest. He's got some interesting markings. The green around the so visor. It's, so it's unique. That helps. Yeah. I mean, That's... I think the color placement is great. He's not going to have accessories really because he's a pilot. So the pot, you know, the helmet is what is That's... really carrying there. When you're a pilot, you got to make sure that your helmet is on point. Because if it's not, it kind of, in my opinion, starts to ruin the rest of it, if we're being honest. Because like you yeah. said... They don't really have like any accessories or anything, so the helmet is a huge part in the drip for pilots. Mm -hmm. I genuinely, I would put this in A. I think this is pretty high. You know what? I, 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 was, I didn't know if that was gonna be blasphemous or not to say A, but I was thinking A too. Yeah, no, I mean it's just like it's what, super clean. Yeah, like, sometimes just, when when you get to talking about some some clone drip a lot of people love the accessories we kind of talked about this in the last one yeah where like you can have a drippy clone and not really have any accessories at all and yeah i, I mean, think that's... i think minty does it here yeah once you get past drip 101 then they start teaching you these other drip 202 other, other advanced you know yeah uh concepts and topics so. mm -hmm. okay well on to the next one number two we've got fixer I mean, this is not a clean look. I feel like Delta Squad always has some, like, all of them have, like, a clean look. Scorch is definitely, in my opinion, maybe, like, my least favorite. But I still think it looks somewhat clean. But uh, Fixer here, I mean, the green is tough. Dude, I love is, this. The green I think, is fire. I think Fixer is the drippiest in, in Delta Squad. I do think so. I, I respect it, honestly. I can see it. I would put him in A. But I like I like the backpack. That's, like it's I just was, an interesting look. I was thinking A too. Having the full green on one shoulder and the stripe on the other. That's fire. And then the whole like the green like it it's a good mix of the green with the white. Yeah. And, and it's it, it's the, an interesting design. Yeah, and the commando helmet's always fire no matter what. I don't yeah. care. That's super tough. I really do like that backpack too. That's actually a sick backpack. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick backpack. So what are you thinking? I like A too. Wow. I like A. Hey, we're we're agreeing and we're giving out some high drip levels right now. Yeah, first two straight bangers, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next one. We've got Tup. Let's be honest here, we all know what is carrying this. Yeah, the the one singular tier. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like on the shoulder too. Yeah. That's actually that's actually cool. I didn't even mm -hmm. notice that before. Well, I might have noticed it, but now that I'm looking at it, that's kind of cool too on the shoulder. Yeah. I like the stripe on the legs, but it's like knee down. It's nothing it above the been. knee. Yeah, I feel like it should have been all the way up. I feel like it would have looked cool. But I feel like it's unique with it being mm -hmm. just knee that's and below. True. I'd probably go D though. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I was... Like he's v dangerously close to being a shiny. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was possibly thinking maybe C. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm not sure if I want to go. This isn't so much like things are dragging down the drip. Yeah, it's just, just nothing's there to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, like the blue, it's very minimal. Mm -hmm. I would have liked a little bit more blue. Yeah. For sure. That probably would have brought it up. Or maybe just like, you know, maybe just an accessory or two. You know what would have been cool? I, see, I like the blue just line going around. Mm -hmm. If that line and everything above was blue... Or maybe like, who's that one clone that had like the line? I thought it was maybe the line around the helmet, and it was a solid color and it went over like the top of the eyes, like yeah. the visor, and it also went under the visor too. Mm. I feel like that would look 
cool too, but. Uh, yeah, I I gotta go D. I just don't think it's yeah. No, nothing here is moving the needle. No. Okay, so we put top into D, and now on to our next one. We've got Wrecker. This is original Bad Batch Wrecker. So they're uh, they're normal armor. I absolutely love the helmet. Yeah. Like that that easily is my favorite part of this armor. I just I love the helmet and the fact that he looks like he looks like a middle linebacker with some crazy high shoulder pads. Dude, he does. He's got <laughs> Dude, that. That just boosts it up more for me because I love that look <laughs> for a linebacker. He looks like he could play linebacker and at the pros. You think? <laughs> I mean, the dude's like six foot eight. Dude, super strength. If I was lining up under center and I seen <laughs> that man across from me, I'm quitting mid game. I'm yeah. going Antonio Brown. I'm leaving. <laughs> Out, out of Wrecker looks, this is probably the best because I think the red Bad Batch armor fits him the best. It does. Because you have the, like, the little red on the helmet and the red blends in really well with the rest of the look. Mm -hmm. um, with like the gray and the, the black. I, this is so tough. I'd put it A. Okay, well, I since, can't put it ass right now. I was now. thinking S, but since you said A, we gotta put it in yeah, A. Yeah, I, I feel like I can't put something in A at the moment. You said... You uh, said I can't put something in S. In S yeah, yeah. You, you, you pointed out the middle linebacker look, and I was like, dude, that gave it an S for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on to number five. We've got uh, just a regular old clone pilot, but this is like the early... or no, Not the early. This is like, this is like Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Uh, type thing where yeah, they weren't actually wearing clone armor. Yeah, because I say I remember Oddball had that helmet too. Yeah, yeah. That was like a basic helmet for them. Um, this is, and, and it's closer to like a Tie Fighter pilot. Yeah, I would give it F. I think it's so ugly. It's definitely not nearly as good as like before, right? Yeah. With the actual helmets, and I also think it's kind of weird. Like they have like the open, they have the visor, and they have like the opening. Like, why isn't it just, like, a full helmet? Like, why did they, like... Yeah, they have, like, these two... Are these tubes for him to breathe? Because if so, the helmet's open. Yeah, that's, like, impractical almost. <laughs> like, that's so weird to me. And it's like that in the movie, too. I yeah. Think. That's so weird. They, that, that, in practice, yeah, no. I, I don't like it. That's just weird. And I'm, I'm just kind of noticing that the top part of the helmet take out, like, the breathing portion. Kind of looks like a rebel helmet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you think about that, yeah. And I'm not a big fan of the Rebel helmets. <laughs> it actually does look like, actually, that actually is very similar. Yeah. That's actually crazy, but I want to say cool with F, because, yeah. like I said, it just doesn't. I don't really like the look of it all that much, and the impracticality of it, too. It's just, it's... Yeah, no, nah, I mean, nah. the dude is just... It's not. Nah. These pilots are ugly. They, they've, they've done pilots so much better before. Facts. Okay, on to number six. We've got Crosshair, but in episode four of season three, when they're uh, when they're on that planet, and he's got to be undercover, okay. and he's got this uh, this ugly. I mean, the thing is, the shirt is nice, dude. The shirt is actually I like the fire. shirt, but like like dude. the whole. The whole like, oh my gosh, you take off like the helmet part of it. That's what I'm saying. And you have the mask and the hat, dude. That's like S. Yeah, right? yeah. If you just have like the mask over the oh. face with the hat, but you just take off this little chin, the he, yeah. like he looks like the crimson chin. <laughs> like, like he's trying to kill someone <laughs> with his chin. You take that off, it's probably S. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, dude, you take that off, that's S easy. But dude, it brings it down so much. Like bad, because dude, that looks that looks stupid, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would go C, just because everything, everything else, else is, is so drippy. Good, yeah. Because I can't go, I can't go B. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> and but I don't want to put it in down in D. Nah, there's no way I can go D either. So. Yeah, we'll rock that into C. Okay, on to the next one. We've got Adult Omega. Omega from the Bad Batch epilogue. I mean, I the, know where this is going. The hair is a W. The red headband, which is you know, uh, hunters, hunters headband, yeah. Yep. Uh, the, you know the I, I think the jacket is drippy. I love the jacket. I know where this is going for me. 
Is it going S? This is going S for me. I was a when we were watching this and we were reacting, and I seen this look, I was like, this is I was like, this is easily the best look she's had. Like there's no doubt about it. And it's honestly one of the best looks I've seen for like for just like regular like clothes that like you would see everybody else wearing, right? Mm hmm Like this is definitely up there with some of the best of them. And Star Wars. I I think I'm gonna agree with you. I'll be honest, I think the hair does it for me. I think I love, I like, love it. And the fact that she's wearing Hunter's head, yeah, I love that. That's awesome. It's, I, I think it's the fact that I had to watch an entire season of Omega <laughs> in season one with uh, that disgusting hair. That was horrible. To where season two, it was better. Season three, it was really good. And then mm -hmm. this is like just adding on to the season three look and just making it even better. So yeah, this is I'm, I, yeah I'm 100% down with us there. On to the next one. We've got Old Man Hunter. Back to back. I love the beard. Yes. I love that he has a beard because obviously you know me. I got a beard. I'm always a big beard guy. So I love beards. So that's a plus. I might be sure. a beard guy if I could grow one. <laughs> <laughs> but I also love that. I love the, the fit. It's like, you know, it's a calm little fit. <laughs> it's a calm little fit nothing yeah, crazy like but it's still like for a regular clothes to just wear around i think it goes i think like it's he could flick up for the instagram oh in you this. could flick up for that yeah. yeah this is just like one of those this is like this is like him in like greece he's in mykonos just exactly just you know he's big fitted balling. up he's big balling he's vibing he's putting comfortable clothes he's chilling living the yeah. life that's what he's doing here is it s or is it a because I think Omega's is I think quite easily a step above. Yeah. So. W well, you know, we came up with the rule. If we think about it, we should probably put it in A. Okay. We'll, we'll put it in so, A. It's, a that's is, teetering, though. That's a is very... really taking some slots up. <laughs> We're up to four into A now. That's actually insane. All right. On to the next one. We've got Jack. The man next to Gree when they uh, both get their heads cut off. So this is like, he's not quite unique. He, uh, you know, this is like what the scout troopers look like in on Kashyyyk. Like yeah. All of them. But, but man, it's tough. I like it a lot. I personally would put it B. I'm not the hugest fan of this specific helmet and just even imperial scout trooper helmets i get what you mean i because i'm not huge on this imperial ones but this one for some reason i like more yeah because i think it, the camo with like the green visor because the agree has that too that's true i think that's tough i would probably lean more a but we're so stacked okay. on a but well the thing is it's hard and i yeah. like i completely understand with going a so I'll I'll lean with you. Okay. And we'll go A. And we, we just gotta <laughs> hope that maybe we don't think as highly on some of these other ones. Yeah. <laughs> on to the next one. We've got Boss. Hmm. See, I love the orange, but there's just not enough. If this was an aura tier list, oh. maybe he'd be higher. He'd purely be higher. off of this stance. That's dude. That stance is tough. <laughs> I would say, well, this is better than Tup. Tup is in D. Mm -hmm. The... What do we put in C? C is the crosshair one. Mm. Like, I want to put it B, especially because we don't have anyone there. But I think it's got to go C. If there was more orange, like, especially on the lower part, I would probably mm. put it B in some way with the design, but... There's just not quite enough orange for me. It's yeah. mostly white. I really like the like what he does with the orange though. It's, like it's pretty. Yeah. It's just straight up like that's what I'm saying. Dude, one imagine, shoulder. It's cut up to here. Oh, imagine you do that like something. Let him cook with the bottom part too with his leg. Yeah, he could cook up something nice with this look. But yeah, I, I'm not exactly feeling it. And I don't think I can't put it like a tier below like Hunter. Or... Yeah, I'd I'd put it C. It's gotta be. I would put it C too. Because then it's like, because we know it's better than top. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the baseline that we have to go off with. There's no with doubt about that. Like that. All right. On to the next one. We've got Havoc of Rancor Battalion. Oh so my gosh. 
That's we, tough. We had Blitz in S. Is Havoc living up to that same hype? I don't know. That's, dude, this is actually tough, dude. Because he looks sick, too. I think, you know, we had two main things that really catapulted Blitz in S. Yeah. And it was the yellow line going down over one eye, which so, I think was fire and was just unique. so cool. And the diamonds on the kilt. The diamonds on the kilt. I think I also really like the one. I think because didn't he have one leg was one color, one leg was the other? It was uh, the gauntlets. Or the gauntlets, the gauntlets was like that. Dude, yeah. that was so cool too. This is a lot of symmetry. But man, it, it this flows very well. I, I'm not going to go S. I'd go A. But unfortunately, we're, sla we're slamming out A, but I it just has to. I can't put this in B. I just yeah. can't. There's no way. <laughs> That's too cool. I have to put yeah. it in A. Yeah. Well, let's let's go ahead. We'll put it in A. I mean, I have to. <laughs> again, A is just absolutely loaded today. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do much about it. And on to our final clone for this video. We've got Wolf, but Desert Wolf. Dog. <laughs> this is S for this me. This is S by a mile. This is S for me. Easy. By a mile. This is the best one on this list, for sure. Yes. Easily. I mean, just the, the, helmet the use of gray all around, you know, gray mm -hmm. from, like, the stomach down. You got gray all over the, the tops of the arms. The helmet, like you said, I mean. That alone is. Absolutely insane. That might be the, dude, that's one of the best helmets I've seen. It's definitely a top tier clone helmet. Dude, it's out there. That's insane. Wolf, you can you can always count on Wolf to have drip. We didn't have his phase two in S, and I think not having him in S on that tier list could have. I think we kind of sold. We could, yeah. I think we definitely kind of. If sold. If there was one that we really sold on was, in that one, yeah, it was Wolf. Yeah, we probably. If I could go back, I would probably put him in S. But this one, I'm going to give him. His oh, this, credit. This is he, an easy S. This he is, is like, 100 percent an S. This is like S plus, dude. Like you yeah, said, like this is that's crazy drip. And that is uh that is another clone drip tier list. I mean very A heavy. <laughs> yes, very A heavy, but a lot of a lot of fire clone armors. Yeah. Shout out Minty. He was the sleeper pick for sure. Dude, he was really because dude, that green is so fire. Yeah. I love that green. Man, they sold so hard on the crosshair one, dude. That could that should have been ass. It should have been. It should have been so. Well, they bad. added that stupid crimson chin. <laughs> <laughs> like you said. Dude. And what is it for? Nothing. Nothing, man. They were like, if they didn't put that on, they were probably like, like, all right, like this is, this is too drippy. We got to bring it down. Maybe okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the bad batch creators were thinking that far ahead, but. <laughs> I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Maybe they just couldn't. They couldn't but do dude, a drip overload in season three. Dude, that would have. That would have. That's like a. If you get rid of that, that's like generational drip, though. They did just pass. They just like missed on. We're, we're just yapping at this point. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that you are?